<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just threw up my mouth there. What's up, guys? <laughs> Our sidewall pattern is a very, very important part of A, stringing our channel, and B, building our pockets. So let's walk through how I developed this pattern. Let's get into it. So we got our top string all set. Now we're gonna start stringing our sidewall pattern. Um, the great thing about the Pioneer is how many sidewall holes there are. If you can find a head that's got a lot of sidewall holes, the better for stringing. I can see that this mesh hole right here lines up perfectly with the third, not the second, but the third sidewall hole. So that's where I'm gonna start. So again, I'm just gonna do a simple loop like we did up here, and I'm gonna run it through twice. I'm gonna skip one because I can see that this mesh row doesn't really line up with the fourth sidewall hole. So I'm gonna go down to the fifth, and I'm gonna string in an anchor knot. An anchor knot is when I go, I don't even touch the mesh, I go straight to the outside of the head Oop. straight through from the outside in, up through the row of mesh that I want to pull down. And then you can see this loop that I've made. I want to go down through the loop, creating a knot. Now the way to get tension out of this knot is to take the inside string. As you can see, as I pull it, this part of the, of the string takes all, you can get all the slack out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull down and out. You can see how it folds the mesh and really pulls it to the inside of the head. I'm gonna take my other thumb, pinch it so I can let go, and then take the remaining slack out of the string and tie it tight. Now, you could say that I'd be done with that knot, but I'm not. There's still slack in the string. So I'm gonna cam the string in my hands and pull the string inward and you'll see the knot rotate into the mesh. So as I pull that knot inward, it really sets the knot and really holds it there. I want to be able to influence the mesh to pull it down farther. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a double knotted SI. So an SI, a knotted SI, starts by going down through the mesh and then into the outside of the head, up, and then as you can see, just like that anchor knot, I created a loop and I go down through that loop. And again, I pull all the slack out by grabbing the string from the inside of the head. And as you see, I'm pulling all the slack out. You think we're done? We're not done. I'm gonna cam the string in my hand. And for sidewall holes, this is where um, you can get a little creative. So to add leverage, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my thumb, put it on the throat, and use it as an anchor point to pull all the slack. And look at, I can almost, I can bend the head from how tight I can pull on the string. And again, I'm not really using any strength in my hand because I've canned the string. I can pull really, really tight and get all the slack out of that knot and make it an extremely tight, tight knot. So, I said a double knot, I'm gonna do it twice. Now here comes the SI. All right, so the SI is I'm gonna go back up through the mesh and pull it down. And you'll notice that I've pulled the mesh almost exactly in between these two sidewall holes, which is, which is what I wanted to do. If I just use one knot, it would give a little bit more slack in the mesh up top. And what I, what I wanna do is make sure that I pull all the slack out to build my channel. And really easy, we're just gonna duplicate this knot over again. Do it twice while skipping a sidewall hole. Now, a finishing knot. All I'm gonna do is just tie this same knot twice again without going through any parts of the mesh. This is gonna lock down these three, these three knots and not let any slack be able to come back up through the string. So again, in through the, the out, down through the loop, pull the slack out, cam it in my hands, pull it tight. Uh, again, into the outside, down through the loop, pull the slack out, pull it tight, cam it, and lock it in. Now we're gonna start building the pocket. All right, now that I've got, I'm, everything looks good, everything looks even, the knots are both the same on each side, 
everything has to be symmetrical on both sides. The, the pocket is going to be really straightforward. All it is is just going to be a sequence of ones. You know, when the ball is hugging the mesh as it's leaving our pockets, I want nice consistent contact with the mesh as it leaves our sticks. So I've folded it down. I've kind of taken a little bit of the slack out with this hand and I'm going to do a simple tie and make a knot. So down through the outside in, I see my loop. I bring the string up and I pass it through the loop. Take the slack out from the inside of the head. Like that, pinch it with my finger so I can let go. Pull the slack out, cam the string in my hand, use the throat to take and really lock that knot down. And then I'm just gonna repeat. So, we have our tie off, our anchor knot, our double special interlock, double special interlock to a tie, which I do twice, four ones, one, two, three, four, skip a sidewall hole, a one, and then tie off on the throat. And as you'll see, when I pop this side of it out, I've got a nice smooth, there's nothing bulging out either way, and that's gonna give a nice track for that ball to roll on as it comes out of my pocket. And all you're gonna do is flip to the other side and repeat. So I'll catch you guys in a second. 